What's going on guys? Um, this is the only day I had free to really do this or I was just really eager because I wanted to put this on but we're doing an install video on the car today and it just started raining as soon as I came outside so <laughs> there's that but we're gonna do it anyway shouldn't take too long but here's the car Ooh, let me turn the polarizer there we go it looks fucking good um, I have something going on the front today so said thing is right in here and it was actually a birthday gift from my wonderful girlfriend i will show you what it is in just a second decided to get in the car because i'm hoping the rain's gonna chill off for a second um i think it may storm pretty soon but we're gonna do this anyway let me show you what it is that i have in this little bag in here i have a new grill for the car which probably doesn't sound like it's all that exciting but I'm very excited about it, and if I can get it out without breaking this packaging, that would be great. Okay, it's about to storm. It's going to be fun. So, right here, we have a chrome badgeless grill for the 98 to 2000 LS400. Um... These are actually really hard to find. Um, when I first got the car, this was like one of the main things that I really wanted. Because for me personally, I think that this alone changes the entire front end of the car and almost makes it look like an 80s or 90s Mercedes-Benz. I don't know, post in the comments below what you think it would make it look like or if you've seen pictures of it. But yeah, this grill, I think makes the front end of the car look super classy um, and there is a ton of options for these uh, there's a bunch of companies in Japan that you know back in whenever it was back in the 90s early 2000s that made grills um, a lot of them are like billet aluminum or sorry I'm English aluminium um, and even used they're really expensive I've seen insert pieces like this Pretty much identical to this that are billet go for four to five hundred dollars, um, and I mean if you want that, that is you know if you can, go ahead do that. That's a pretty you know it's billet, it's cool. You get to say that it's billet, but it really doesn't make a difference because one, it'll probably be heavier, and two, it doesn't need to withstand shit. It's fucking grill, so it really doesn't matter what it is made of. Um, this is made of plastic. Although, on the listing, it did say that it's billet. I already knew that it was going to be plastic. I'm not an idiot. Um, but I actually got this from Taiwan uh, off of eBay. And I don't know that that many people know that you could get these. It just kind of randomly popped up one day. Um, I found it, and then it disappeared. And luckily, I had bookmarked the link, so I had the eBay seller information so I sent him an email and I said hey can I still get this I need that um, and he said yeah made a new listing and sent it to me um, and I forwarded it to my girlfriend and she got it for my birthday which I'm 23 by the way guys it was like a couple weeks ago but it takes a couple weeks for it to ship in even though they said three to five days there's just no way I had to go through customs and everything but it's here now I'm super excited to install it um, this is the only day I've had free my family's been visiting in town all weekend and it's a Sunday right now and I work all week um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get on with the install for this. Fucking pulled the hood. What's up, Bima? What's up, Ari? Alright, so it looks like this outside piece stays and then it's just this inside piece. And I actually hadn't looked to see what hardware is on here. Uh, oh, it looks to be pretty simple. Cool. And then this actually mounts, the, the hood latch mounts on the grill too, so hopefully it's sturdy. Alright, let go of him. Come on. Quit that. Best thing about the LS. Hydraulic hood struts. Too big. Also too big. It's a 10 mil that I need. See, I can find 10 mils. I just can't find them for this ratchet, so... 
Thankfully the rain has calmed down a bunch. Alright, it stopped raining. Still feels like it's gonna storm. Um, but let's try and get this out of the way before it does. Yeah. Okay, so I pulled the stock grill off, but I also took the hood release piece off with it because I couldn't seem to get the bolts right here undone. They just seem to be spinning and it's, the plastic is cracked. I don't feel like breaking that and not having a hood release, so we're gonna mess with that. And thankfully the rain just fucking started again. God damn it. Okay, I managed to get it. It just seemed like I needed to hold the back of it and kind of pull it off a little bit, but it's dripping this... Nasty rust juice on me right now, so yay for that. Okay, so next thing to figure out is how I take this center section out of the chrome surround, which I think should just be a couple pieces of hardware. Yeah, just a couple screws, which looks like it's the same on the other one, so if I cross head and do that. Oh, this bitch is stiff. As with everything on this car, you tend to find once a bolt's been somewhere for 20 years, it doesn't want to come undone. So, these were extremely easy to strip out. Doesn't matter how much pressure I put on them, they barely turn and then they end up fucking stripping the Phillips head, so. All right, so I had to drill these out. And now I can finally pull this off, however this comes out. Put the camera down. Okay. Okay, now that I have the chrome outer, I should probably clean this up a little bit because the new piece is going to look incredibly clean compared to this. So I'm going to wipe it down real quick. Okay, went ahead and used some uh, metal polish on this and cleaned it up a little bit. There is a ton of imperfections in it from rock chips over the past 20 years, but cleaned up relatively nice. Um, I doubt it's going to look as good as the chrome on the new grill, but hopefully... It doesn't look too bad, and if it does, I guess I'll just buy another surround at some point. So I just noticed on the old grill, if you want to focus, there's these, which I don't actually know how I'm supposed to get these out, because they just spin when I try and unscrew them. So, that's the piece of hardware that I need to hold in the hood release. I'm not actually sure how that comes out. This thing's actually more difficult to get in here than I expected. It's kind of a tight fit, but this is really difficult to do this and film it because I only have one hand then to do stuff and yeah, I don't have anybody else to film. So I'm gonna put the camera down and hopefully we'll figure it out. Yay, it's in there. That looks fucking great. Just need to bolt it back into this and then put it back on the car. Okay, so I've pretty much decided with these, I cannot get them out of here. And I don't know what to replace it with, so I'm just going to go ahead and zip tie this in place. Just enough so that it holds that, and then you can obviously pull on this and release the hood. Well, apparently we don't have any fucking zip ties. I just spent the past 45 minutes searching absolutely everywhere for zip ties, and we don't have any. So, I have just 3M taped this to the back of it, and it's me. It should be okay for now. I'm gonna run to the store after I finish filming this video and uh, pick up some zip ties and just poke them through, but... Hell yeah. It is time to close the hood. Let me make sure I don't leave anything there. Okay, cool. Let's see what this bitch looks like. Ready? Boy. Fuck yes. I'm super stoked that looks great um i feel like it's a little underwhelming right now because the car's dirty and the weather's not that nice but i'm super pumped with that it's very subtle but i think it changes up the whole end of the car all right now people have been asking me when i'm going to be putting out more videos working on this and i do have good news i do have a couple of videos lined up that hopefully we'll be doing soon um i have new parts in I also have window tint going on, chrome window tint, so that'll match up nicely with the grill. And we're gonna talk about where you can get chrome tint from um, in that video when we do the install. But first off, before I do that, I am needing to replace this windshield because there is a crack right here. So yeah, we're gonna do that first and then I have some more suspension goodies going on the car pretty soon, hopefully, so that we can drop the front down um, and 
and yeah. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end off the video here. Thank you so much for watching. This was pretty short and a relatively lame install. Um, and it actually took longer than it should have because the rain and I had to keep going back and forth to the garage to find random shit. Um, and then wasting my time looking for zip ties that we didn't even have anywhere. Um, but it's on there, I'm super stoked about it. And to finish off this video, I'm gonna add in some pictures of the grill on the car. Um, and yeah, if you guys don't already follow my Instagram account, which is LEP underscore automotive, uh, that's where I post all of my car pictures and my work stuff. And then if you want to see more progress stuff on the car, which will be more likely live updates compared to YouTube, um, go ahead and go to LEP underscore LS400. Give that a follow and yeah. Hopefully, we'll have some more videos on the car real soon, and we'll see you guys then. I'm gonna end off the video with some pictures of this new grill on the car, and see you guys.